Okay, in this video I'm going to do some examples about factoring the difference of two squares. Sometimes people will say it's factoring uh, the difference of two perfect squares. Um, and the formula that we're going to use, it basically says if you have something squared minus something squared, you can put that in parentheses by just taking the things that are being squared. In one set of parentheses make it a minus, and the other set make it a plus. That's all you got to do. Um, be very careful if you have a squared plus b squared. Uh, if the exponents are squares, this doesn't factor. You can't do anything at all to this. So people will often try to m make it do something, somehow factor it, but uh, it, it's, it's not correct. So be very careful about that. If the exponents are both threes, it does factor in that case. So just some you know little nuances that to uh, be aware of. But anyway, okay, so just a couple basic examples here. Uh, 9x squared minus 49, and then uh, 36y to the fourth minus 100. All you have to do, and we can even rewrite it first. Um, we, want some, we want to rewrite the first term as something squared. Well, to write 9 as something squared, we would need a 3. And then to get x squared, we just need an x. So if you multiply 3x by 3x, we get 9 squared. And then 49, we can write that as 7 squared. I, I typically skip this step, honestly, but uh, just to illustrate. So this is our a, this is our b. And hey, it says we have a squared minus b squared. Well, that factors. It says we take a which is 3x, and it doesn't matter the order in which you put the negative and the positive uh, in the parentheses. So we'll take 3x minus 7 and 3x plus 7, and now we have it factored. So typically what I always do, um, kind of the shortcut for me at least, the way I think about it, anytime I see something with two terms, so here's one term, here's the other term, if there's a, a minus in between them, it always factors. Basically, I just take the square root of the first term, which um, I, I guess, you know, maybe maybe you've seen it, uh, square roots a little bit, maybe you haven't worked with them a lot. But the square root of 9, uh, x squared, would just be 3x and 3x, and the square root of 49 will just be 7 and 7, and then I just stick a, a minus and a plus in between them. So maybe we can do kind of the same idea uh, on this one. 36y to the fourth minus 100. So I recognize there's two terms. There's a minus in between. So I say, hey, that's going to factor. Uh, I think what number times itself is 36? Well, I would need a 6 and a 6. What would I have to multiply by itself to get y to the fourth? We would need y squared and y squared. And then I think, well, what number multiply? What's the square root of 100? Uh, it's just going to be 10. And then I just stick a negative and a positive inside of there, and again, now I have it factored. Okay, so nothing, nothing worse than that. And again, you can distribute these out and make sure, in fact, that everything cancels out, and you do get this original expression back.